All right, so one of the other challenges of the investigation was to figure out how a barometer works. And it's a really simple device. This is a barometer. It measures barometric pressure. That's why it says here. It's got lower numbers here, and the numbers progressively get bigger. Now, it's got the units and inches and centimeters and all that. That doesn't really matter for us. What matters is this. is when there's higher pressure, this thing records it. When there's lower pressure, this thing records it. How does that work? There's a little thing here in the back. Now, a lot of barometers work different ways. This is a very simple one, that when there's higher air pressure, literally the air will crunch down in this coil. And when there's lower air pressure, it will release that pressure, kind of like this ball. High pressure, I'm crunching down in the ball here. Low pressure, I'm releasing. So when there's higher pressure, I can squeeze on this coil, and what's going to wind up happening is it's going to record or show a higher air pressure. And then when I release the pressure on that coil, it will show a lower air pressure. Now this thing's been messed with over the years and it's not accurate at all. So that's why I have it busted open just for demonstration purposes. But that's really how a barometer works. It just shows higher pressure or lower pressure by measuring that force of air. High pressure, low pressure. Now nowadays there's a lot of electronic barometers that take care of this for you. You have just a little sensor and it measures very small changes in air pressure. And it will show you when the air pressure is getting higher or lower. Just like if I squeeze the ball or let go of the ball. High air pressure, low air pressure. Higher air pressure, lower air pressure. And that's all there is to a barometer.